juicy piece of steak. And then you're handed a regular kitchen knife to cut into it. Now you realize your enjoyment of this meal just isn't going to be complete until you find yourself just the right tool, a sharp steak knife with teeth. Looking at our special pest today, the mosquito, we actually find she too enjoys eating. And just like you, she wants to have at her disposal the right set of tools to bite in and enjoy her meal at the expense of her victim. So again, you are now sitting down enjoying your steak with your newly found steak knife and feel a strange sensation in your arm. Looking to your right, you find a little mosquito sitting on your arm and immediately you respond by slapping it hard, leaving a small red blood stain on your arm. For the next few days, your arm's not quite the same, but eventually heals, for which you are thankful. And in her last few moments of life, many incredible things were done by that mosquito, some of which we're going to try to explain in this video, magnifying specifically the precision instruments that are given to this little insect. To start with, upon landing, she uses two antennae with special whiskers on their sides to determine the condition of the skin surface. Just as you determine where to put your knife to cut into your steak, so the mosquito is particular about where it will feed. These antennas somehow select the weaker area of skin which must be entered for her meal. Next, she has at her disposal six tools that are protected under a sheath. This sheath, with all the tools inside, is smaller in diameter than one of your hairs. The first tool she uses is a tubular device which dispenses a special allergen that deadens the skin. Kind of like a Novocaine shot you get before the drilling occurs at the dentist office. Next, she moves on using her two saws which cut into the skin. The width of those saws is about one-tenth the width of your hair and their teeth are spaced out at about five micrometers apart. Each tooth is about one micrometer tall or one one-hundredth the width of your hair. After cutting into the skin with these saws, also with the help of two more sharp piercing instruments, she then inserts a very special tube below the surface of the skin, typically right into a blood capillary. And this tiny tube is less than half the width of a hair and has a hole inside of it. Imagine taking half a hair width, solid piece, and then drilling a hole into it. But it gets better. This little tube, about 40 micrometers in diameter, with its 30 micrometer hole, is of the perfect size to allow red blood cells to pass through it, these being about 5 micrometers wide. This mosquito doesn't want any of its tasty blood to get stuck in the straw. <laughs> According to one scientist who used a scanning electron microscope to examine the tube, he says, it's like an intricately woven and coated fabric that has both strength and flexibility, a classic composite structure. Now, remember that special allergen that the mosquito used before the first cut was taken? Well, this allergen continues to be used during the feeding process to prevent the blood from coagulating. This keeps the blood flow steady as the mosquito increases her body weight three to four times until she's done feeding. As a side note, the mosquito possesses a pump in her head that is smaller than one cubic millimeter. This pump requires no maintenance, but works quietly and efficiently during her lifetime. After finishing, she then escapes, flapping her wings about 500 times per second, somehow able to handle her new more than double body weight. In case you were wondering, she requires blood as a special protein food for the eggs that she's carrying. Just focusing in on the amazing arsenal of tools given from these liquid allergens to special saws, tiny tubes, and a microscopic pump, do you think it could be that she developed these over a very long period of time? Or is it more likely that a master creator who understands pumps and tubes and saws perfectly and gave the mosquito just what she needed to survive and thrive is the real force behind this insect. You decide.